Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for coming out to uh, the press conference. I've been in uh, broadcasting for 16 years, and uh, this is the first time I'm ever actually in front of the cameras, and it's actually pretty interesting standing here. Um, it's been an amazing journey for the, since our first video back in June. We've had over 300,000 hits here in Vancouver, by uh, North America on YouTube, and actually in China. They, they took our video, and they uploaded it to their version of YouTube, and which generated at uh, 2.8 million hits as of today. And uh, I'm happy to announce that in 24 hours, or well, 48 hours now, that our hits on the most recent video has hit close to 45,000 views. It's, it's something that's uh, been pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, I'm Kevin Lee, uh, the producer for HBIC TV. Um, I really didn't expect this kind of response from the media or from the web. Uh, I knew it would be a hot topic in China, but didn't think it would generate this much buzz in North America. I think it's just what it means is that there's a new demographic in uh, Vancouver these days, and it's a hot topic that people are talking about. I'm uh, happy that this show was able to bring that discussion to light. Um, and so yeah, I've, I've produced uh, small little TV shows, Asian team TV shows and documentaries, and this by far outweighed all the views that were produced all in the past of the past 15 years. So I'm very, I'm very uh, happy about this. Um, so HBIC TV is about four affluent Asian Canadian women who are now living life in Vancouver. They are, they are not only born with the proverbial silver spoon in their mouth, but also Hermes purse around their arms and vintage champagne in their crystal flutes. These four young ladies range from 19 to 27 and have lived all around the world before settling here in Vancouver. Uh, they are strong-minded, confident, and going to take on the world one high heel at a time, vying for the status of hot bitches in charge. Uh, we're going to run a little 45 second video here. Pam, can you uh, press play? Ultra rich Asian girls in Vancouver. Ultra rich Asian girls. Ultra rich young Asian girls. So, what's the difference between rich and ultra rich? Who do you think is the most important thing in the world? Ultra rich Asian girls. Ultra rich young Asian girls. I think it's very smart and sexy, and uh, we look amazing while doing it. That's our sneak peek of our first season. As you can see, we've uh, gone to a lot of different places and uh, had a lot of great sponsors as well. Um, now, I want to introduce you to the girls now. Uh, first, uh, on my left, you'll recognize Chelsea. Chelsea was from our first promo. She was playing a character called Lisa because at that time we were still looking for uh, cast members and then she was very happy to step in for that position. And we're very happy to announce that she's now part of our cast. She played a uh, great part. In the, in the promo, so thanks uh, Chelsea. So Chelsea is 24 years old, uh, recently graduated with honors from UBC, majoring in math. Next is uh, Florence, uh, she's lived in Montreal for 12 years, then moved to Milan and attended the famous Instituto Miragoni for fashion design and earning a master's degree. She'll laugh at me every time I'm I say that. And uh, next is Coco Paris. Coco is the youngest of the bunch and she's an aspiring performer and uh, television talent. Uh, Joy, at the very end, uh, she doesn't smell much, but when she does, she's uh, she's quite friendly. Um, <laughs> Joy is an international student studying fashion marketing. She's also an aspiring model with a huge interest in the newest shoes. Um, so what we're going to do is that we're just going to get to little the girls to say a little bit about themselves, and then we're going to move on to uh, questions and answers. Okay, so uh, Chelsea, uh, just grab the microphone here. Hi everyone, my name is Chelsea Lee. I'm 24, and as Kevin told you, I graduated from UBC this year, math major. And I, what I love to do is that I like to study healthy eating habits. I love doing hot yoga, and as Vancouver people, we run by the seawall all the time. And uh, recently, I started my own fashion line. I'm wearing. One piece from my fashion line right now. Let's see if you want to see. Is this 
And it's called C3. So it's about choices, change, and challenge. So it's about um, Asian fusion. So it's mostly Asian style dresses. And other than that, not much going on other than the show. <laughs> That's about it. Thanks, Chelsea. Yeah, next is Florence. Uh, Florence, uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself here? Florence Zhao, and uh, I'm actually starting my own business as well. It's an luxury activewear line called Flow Z. It's short for my name. And uh, I just want to thank everybody for being here today. And uh, I feel very fortunate to be a young independent woman living into this society. And very grateful, you know, having coming back, uh, coming from a great culture like China, and now living in one of the greatest cities in the world, Vancouver. And we're doing this show to share parts of our lives with people who ever are interested to watch, and I think there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, when I was young, when I was really young, uh, when my parents um, didn't have their fortune today, I saw how hard they worked. You know, they're always you know working, and I was um, uh, living with my grandmother, so I see how much hard work they have given in order to provide a better life for my for my family. Uh, so this has always inspired me and it's ingrained in me. So that's why today I'm, you know, I got my education, I worked different jobs, and uh, yeah, I'm in the journey of making my own story. Thank you. Uh, Florence can also speak uh, uh, French for C if CBC French here. No, maybe not. Okay, yeah. just in case. Okay. okay, and Coco again, she's the youngest of the bunch, and uh, Coco, want you. Introduce yourself a little bit, grab the microphone, don't be shy. Yeah. Um, hello everyone, my name is Coco Perez, and I'm, um, I'm from Taiwan. I immigrated to Canada when I was 10 years old. Um, I'm 19 years old, I'm the youngest in the show. And um, I like to travel. I travel at least five countries per year uh, for vacation. And um, I'm interested in inter enter the entertainment uh, in the future of my career, especially singing and acting. And, well, thank you, everyone. Okay. And then uh, next, uh, we have uh, we have Joy. She's an international student, uh, and uh, she's a little <laughs> shy about this, but uh, I'm sure she can handle herself. Joy. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, uh, my name is Joy, and uh, I'm 21 years old. And uh, thank you for coming today. And uh, um, uh, most of the time, I don't talk a lot, but uh, I still have a lot of hobby. Um, I will like, stay at home and uh, reading book, watch movie. Um, also, with my friend, go outdoor activity like skiing, swimming. So, and just want to let you know, uh, I'm not boring. <laughs> if you watch the show, she's actually pretty entertaining. <laughs> yeah, um, I also like to talk. Uh, just not really know how to um, uh, be fun or something. So uh, you can talk to me. <laughs> so. Uh, so Coco and Joy are very good with uh, with Chinese. So if you guys want to uh, interview them in Chinese, that's just fine as well. So now that we met all four girls, uh, we're opening this uh, part of the press conference up to questions, um, and the girls are also uh, available for a one-on-one -on -one as well too afterwards. So okay, I think that's a wrap. All right, thank you everybody for uh, coming out here, and uh, again, everybody's here. Uh, uh, ready for a one on one, so if you want to just uh, grab any of the girls. Can we uh, get a photo op first? Of the okay, yeah, sure. Uh, oh, Can you put on those hats in the front? Uh, I brought them on their hair. No, no, no. We have hair sponsors, so unfortunately they can't cover that. Okay, can that. you just hold them up then? Yeah, sure. Thank you.